I've got a great little exercise in this video that will help you get the most out of learning and change. Learning doesn't always stick. In fact, most of the time it doesn't stick. And change goes against the nature of the brain. The brain views change as risky. Most of our behaviors and many of our actions are subconscious. We're not even, by definition, consciously aware of them. And to change our habitual beliefs and behaviors, very difficult, in fact. But the exercise in this video is a really powerful exercise, and it's a lot of fun. It makes learning and change more fun. So stick with me and watch the video through to the end. It's only 15 minutes. I bet you probably like to enjoy yourself and have fun, right? You and I share that and other traits. Well, in this video, I'll show you an exercise that will help you do three things. Number one, it will help you get more out of learning, personal and professional development that will actually result in personal change. And we must change before we can change our results. Using the tool I'm going to give you in this video, You'll have a new way to make knowledge and training result in actual belief, behavior, habit, and skill change. Then your training will have the potential to change your life for the better. Most good information we come across never changes our unconscious beliefs or our habitual thoughts and emotional states. The vast majority of our behaviors come from our subconscious beliefs and habits. With this exercise, we will affect and improve your subconscious beliefs and habits, both those associated with learning and with change itself, as well as those associated with any specific belief, habit, or skill you want to adopt. Okay, the number two way this exercise will increase the power of learning for you is that it will make your brain naturally desire both learning and the change that you're practicing. The number three benefit to you is that this exercise will make it more fun. And fun is a good thing, right? Wouldn't it be cool to make learning and growing more fun? Playful even? Do you think you might get more out of it? Well, I can assure you, you will get more out of it. What we're going to do is to more actively use your brain, both electrically and chemically, and the rest of your physiology and psychology, in the learning and change process. Now, studies show that when we more actively engage our bodies, minds, and emotions, including the pleasure centers, the brain, we not only enjoy the learning process more, we're also more likely to seek out more learning in the future. This is because our subconscious and our conscious minds have associated pleasure to learning. It's not just a conscious effect, though. Nor is it just psychological. It's subconscious and it's chemistry and electricity and physiology, neurology. We're changing both your subconscious association to change, making your subconscious attach positivity to learn and change, learning and change. And we're changing the chemical environment in your brain so that the hormones associated with positive states coincide with learning and change. This way, your brain becomes more addicted to learning and change. will increase the effectiveness of training. And you'll see bigger results, and they will likely happen sooner also. So what is the tip I have for you? What is the tool I'm going to give you in this exercise? It's really quite simple. Be a kid. Do you have kids? If not, have you ever watched kids play? And if you're saying you haven't, First of all, I'm kind of doubting you. But the next time you see kids playing, watch them for a few minutes. What's unique about little kids, say ages four to eight? What's unique about them when they play? And how are we adults different? Now, kids don't get caught up in what actually is, or I should say, because it's more correct, kids don't get caught up in what appears to be or even more importantly and more directly and succinctly, they don't get caught up in what they fear. They're too busy having fun, imagining, being, and doing. They give 100% of themselves to their imagination and their activities. Their focus, intention, and action are 100% invested in whatever they're playing. They don't doubt for a moment that they are an action hero, a sports hero, or some other desired character. 
When they play, they are that person they imagine, and they infuse the process with joy, passion, and limitless abilities. So why don't you be that small child playing make-believe? Whenever you learn, when you train, or when you practice being a new person, new skills, new mentality, new discipline, new commitment, new ability, first of all, throw out any and all doubt or fear or concern. You are what you desire. You are what you imagine. Inhabit, own, and then practice and perfect being the person and the skills and the habits you want. Infuse the process with passion, joy, gratitude, excitement, potential, and certainty that a five-year-old experiences. Play with it. Explore it. See it, hear it, and feel it in your imagination and your body both as a third person watching yourself from the outside in your imagination, but also from within yourself in your imagination. Think of the most charismatic, energetic, confident, capable person you have either ever seen or imagined. Vividly imagine their enthusiastic, confident energy and perspective. Then let it inhabit and consume and own you. See it, hear it, feel it, be it. You are the personification of whatever belief set, mindset, habit set, whatever behavior set or skill you want to learn and adopt and take on. Practice it over and over, both in your imagination through visualization and also, of course, in real life situations. Believe it. Know it. Celebrate it. Have fun with it. Okay, in a minute I'm going to have you do an exercise. Or if you honestly can't do it right now, I'm going to ask you to take out your smartphone and schedule a time later today when you can and you will do it. What I want you to do is to close your eyes and go to a future time when you know you absolutely want to be your highest, greatest, most confident, focused, committed, proactive, and successful self. See, hear, and feel yourself in that situation, in your imagination, first from the outside and then stepping into your body and your imagination. See, hear, and feel yourself as a superhuman hero, the personification of wisdom, strength, character, intelligence, passion, compassion, energy, focus, success, power, benevolence, important, every, everything that's important to you. Pick a situation in a location possibly surrounded by or speaking with other people that you know you will be speaking to in a situation like that. Pick a situation where you are are engaged in, say, habits or skills that are going to be really important to your life. You can even pick something, a seemingly benign uh, situation at home, let's say, where you may be in the habit of wasting time surfing the internet, playing video games, uh, watching television, something like that, a waste of time. And you want to change that habit that you have. Remember, we are our habits. Our success or failure comes from our habitual choices in beliefs, stories, feelings, behaviors, and actions. So if you don't habitually live in an energized, optimistic, focused, and acting on state and acting on the main thing that's imperative to your success, you won't get it. If you habitually waste time in idle activities, you may want to re-engineer your brain, your mind, your emotions, your physiology, your neurology so that you habitually are in a different state and in a different behavioral, emotional state. Make that state intensely positive, fun, joyful, and fulfilling so that you'll want to consciously and subconsciously engage in that state on an ongoing basis. So whatever situation you, you, you choose, make sure it's something that's very important to you, a pivotal situation. Even if it seems benign, like you're at home hanging out, surfing the internet or something like that. What would you see? What would you hear? What would you feel? Both with your tactile senses and also in your emotional being, what would you feel? <clears throat> now say to yourself, I will now have fun teaching myself who I really am. Now, tomorrow, in every circumstance in the future. Not who I may have pretended I was in the past, but who I am. I'm going to have fun playing with the beliefs, perceptions, opinions, behaviors, actions that personify me as my greatest self. Me, as a massive winner in all that's important to me. Me, as an enlightened, calm, centered, peaceful, dynamic, charismatic, brilliant, engaged, successful person in this and in all other instances. Now, 
Next, in a playful manner, both visualizing in your mind being and doing in those circumstances exactly as your highest and greatest self possibly would. And don't place any limitations on yourself. Be that little kid. Be the superhero you imagined when you were a kid. You are the strongest, fastest, most amazing superhero with limitless abilities and flawless performance. Next, actually act out your superhero self with your physical body and voice. Actually role play the situation, just you, by yourself. Imagine the location, people, situations you will encounter. Do and be your superhero self in your imagination, but act it out. Role play the entire thing with yourself, with your voice, and with your body. Be a little kid. See, hear, and feel yourself and everyone else in the circumstances surrounding you as they will be. Be your biggest, grandest self. Use your imagination. Use your actual voice in your body. Do so in an exaggerated manner. For example, right now, I'm speaking with you. I'm, I'm using my hands and arms even bigger, and I'll use my voice even bigger. And, and use your body and your voice like this. When you do this, you're affecting your physiology, your neurology, and your chemistry. You're more actively involving all of your chemistry and physiology and neurology. You're actually having an effect not just on your psychology. You're affecting your entire physiology, the electrical and chemical energy in your being, your physical being. You're retraining them to begin to master the ability to manufacture and experience these states, these perspectives, these beliefs, these behaviors, and these actions. Who we are is not just a psychological phenomenon. Our behaviors, our habits, our skills, our actions are not just psychological. They are also physiological, neurological, electrical, chemical. And what we're doing is training, or retraining really, or retraining your physiology, your chemistry, your neurology, your electrical patterns associated with confidence, efficacy, expression, power, action, dynamism, charisma, success. Act out, out loud what you would believe, behave, and experience in that superhero state. Have fun. Be silly. Be supportive of yourself. Pretend you're a kid alone in a room having great fun with your imaginary games. Don't be safe. Don't be controlled. Don't be measured or reserved. And practice and play this at least three times. Probably more like five times. Be big and exaggerated with your physical movements, with your feelings, your voice. Play, have fun, be big. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do to begin this process. As soon as the video is done, and it'll be done in just a moment, I want you to do the exercise. Now again, if you absolutely can't do this exercise now, and not because you're copping out or you're afraid, but because of personal commitment, then you must get out your smartphone now and schedule it for a time today with an alarm when you know you'll have time to do this. The very first time you know you'll have a few minutes or five or ten minutes to do this. So do that now, please. Get out your smartphone if you're not going to do the exercise right now. So what I want you to do when the alarm goes off is to go to a, a time when you didn't think, feel, or believe, or act, inhabit that self, that superhero self. A time when you know it'll be important. For example, let's say you froze in fear or reacted in anger at work, or you were at home and you wanted to be doing something productive, start a business, uh, work on your job, something that's constructive, but you gave in to the drug, the drug, the lie that is video games and internet surfing and television. So you knew that you weren't being your highest self. You sold yourself short. You gave in to distraction. You gave in to the drug of immediate gratification at the expense of developing and growing your highest and biggest and greatest self, your success, your life meaning. So right now, or later when your smartphone alarm goes off, here's what I want you to do. I want you to do everything I just went through with you. I want you to see, hear, and feel yourself in that situation. And don't give in to the habitual drug of distraction. To use the example I just gave, see, hear, and feel yourself as your greatest self, most confident, focused, disciplined, magnetic, charismatic, exciting, driven, successful self. Play it out. Use your body big. Use your voice big. Have fun with yourself. Be a kid. Don't give in to fear or limitation. Just play with it. And I want you to do this now, later on today when you've scheduled it. And I want you to do it regularly. I guarantee you, 
I guarantee you, you will change the way you begin to perceive yourself, the beliefs you have about engaging in those things that are most important to you, about being your biggest, grandest, most focused, disciplined, successful self. You will see and you will feel and you will hear a big change in who you are and in the results you're getting in life. So go ahead, have fun, do this now. If you absolutely can't do it now, schedule it now on your smartphone. Until next time, dream, be, and believe huge, my friends. To do any less is to deny who you are. Live with passion, purpose, and meaning.